Okay, welcome back. Hopefully this will be a quick five minute review of the Fujifilm 50 to 140 f 2.8 lens. Uh, this beast right here. Um, jumping right into it, the build quality of this lens is exceptional. Um, I have zero complaints. Uh, the tolerances on this are really tight. The, the lens cap, uh, the back lens cap stays on really tight. The focus ring um, is, is nice and dampened. Um, the zoom ring is nice and smooth. Um, I really have no complaints with this lens. The buttons are clicky. Uh, the aperture ring is just fantastic. I mean, listen to this. Hello? I will take a, um, I don't even know. Just give me a, give me a meatball sub, please. With some, um, some cheese that I like and some, bye. Yeah, the build quality is, um, I mean, it's just, it's fantastic. Uh, from a performance standpoint, um, the autofocus on this lens, for the lenses I own, I think this is the fastest. Um, it's very quick to acquire focus. Um, it's silent. It, you know, there's really nothing else really to be said about it. The autofocus performance is great. Um, from a standpoint of the image quality, the image quality, I, this might be the, also be the sharpest lens, Fujifilm lens that I own. It's very sharp. Um, it, I have no complaints, even from wide open at all um, focal ranges. It's very sharp, it's definitely sharp enough for my needs. Um, I really have nothing to complain about there. Um, tracking, if you're doing tracking focus on this, uh, on this lens, um, I think it's pretty good. Probably about as good as you can get on Fujifilm. Um, in general, I've definitely seen better tracking uh, when I was using uh, Sony before, but I think that probably has more to do with uh, the Fujifilm algorithms continuing to catch up over time and less to do with uh, the capabilities of this lens in general. Um, so I really, overall, I have no complaints with this lens. Um, there's really nothing else to be said. Uh, one other thing to mention, I guess, is that it does come with this, you know, kind of a standard huge pedal, um, pedal hood that most zooms come with. Uh, has a spot to drop in um to drop in uh filters and uh, you know screw and unscrew uh, lens filters in there um it's not lined with like a velvet or anything but it is like matte and ridged in there and then of course it comes with like a, a tripod um collar uh i don't typically mount my um you know mount my camera to a tripod when i'm using this lens uh so I usually take those off. Uh, really, there's nothing else to complain about this lens. It's, it's a fantastic, fantastic lens. Weather resistant, quick, quick to focus, silent, um, sharp, and you know, autofocus is great. So I don't really, really don't know what else to say about it. I think it's a, you know, if you're a 70 to 200 shooter and you're coming over to the Fujifilm lineup, it's a no brainer, it's a must have. Um, the one thing to consider, I guess, depending on your application is if you need a lot more reach, you can consider, you know, if you if you would use this lens as a 2.8, 7200 would be used, right? As far as for either sports or you do a little portraiture with it or whatever, and you need a little bit of reach, you can also add the uh, 1.4 teleconverter. They have a 2.0 as well, but I think the 1.4s uh, tele teleconverters usually perform a little better from an image quality standpoint and probably autofocus as well. Um, so you have that option. Otherwise, you have a few other like pretty long uh, Fuji zoom lenses that have come on the market now that you would need to consider if you don't need to use this in all its you know 2.8 glory um then i would consider the 1 to 400 and the new um i don't know if it's a 1 to 300 or 7300 that fuji has and then they have an even older um zoom lens that uh with ois that's also uh, pretty um performant and i did forget to mention that um the stabilization in this is great uh, nothing else really to say like I mean it's, this lens is this is probably one of the easiest lenses to review because it's a fantastic lens for what it is and um, I think you kind of know if you need um, that a lens like this in that 70 to 200 field of view category constant 2.8 you will you know if you need this lens and if you need it you need it there's really no way around it um, I think I've had a lens like this on almost every system I've shot on because when you need it you need it and there's really no other way around that so if you need this lens buy it there's nothing else to say um i think it's pretty affordable especially in the used market um when it comes to lenses like this uh so i mean that's pretty much it so hopefully i will catch you on the next one peace